Hey you guys, welcome back to RPO Restorations. Today, we'll be talking about a fuel injection system introduced in 1985. This system was supposed to bring some of the performance back to GM's 8-cylinder engines that was lost during the Malays era. A system that was responsible for a nice jump in torque and horsepower from GM's Corvette and F-body cars. And a system that not only worked well for the time, but also looked pretty good under the hood. This system is GM's Tune Port Injection System. Introduced in 1985, the Tune Port Injection System could be found on some 305 and 350 cubic inch 8 cylinder engines in both the Chevrolet Corvette and Camaro and Pontiac Firebird lines from the mid 80s up through the early 1990s. These systems employed an individual fuel injector for each cylinder, a mass airflow sensor, and tubular runners in an aluminum intake which channeled air to each cylinder. Say what you will about this system, but it did look pretty impressive under the hood. They also featured a Y-shaped air intake system which fed air through a Bosch mass airflow sensor into a dual bore throttle body. Early systems also featured a night fuel injector known as a cold start injector that provided extra fuel during startup to richen the mixture. The tune port injection systems debuted in the 1985 model year on 305 equipped Chevy Camaros and Pontiac Firebirds and Chevrolet Corvettes equipped with the 350 cubic inch engine. This system replaced carburation in the F bodies and the crossfire throttle body injection system in the Corvettes. In 1987, F bodies ordered with a 350 also got tune port injection. This system allowed for an increase in compression in both engines and a noticeable increase in horsepower and torque. For instance, the 1984 Corvette equipped with a 350 and crossfire injection was rated at 205 horsepower and 290 foot-pounds of torque with a 9 to 1 compression ratio. In 1985, those numbers increased to 230 horsepower and 320 foot-pounds of torque with a 9.5 to 1 compression ratio. By 1988, these engines were producing 245 horsepower and 340 foot-pounds of torque, a pretty good improvement given what Detroit was putting out at the time. The tune port injection system works well due to the large intake runners which feed air to each individual cylinder. The tube length is designed to take advantage of the air pulses generated by the opening and closing of the intake valves. The goal is to take advantage of a higher density air charge time to arrive as the intake valve opens. This delivers a fairly precise amount of air to each inlet port where metered fuel is injected into its path. Fuel pressure is maintained at a constant 44 foot-pounds at the injector. Each injector in the system is activated simultaneously twice during each crankshaft revolution. The first amount of fuel is delivered with the intake valve closed and the second is sprayed as the valve is open. This results in a fully atomized fuel mixture mixed with air. Overall, the tune port injection system was a big improvement in the way fuel was delivered in 8-cylinder engines. This was one of the first mass-produced systems by GM which gave some thought to the way the air pulses affected performance and tried to incorporate that into the way the system operated. If you compare it to, say, throttle body injection, it really was a marked improvement in the way things operated and set the tone for how things would work down the road. Did you own or work on one of these systems as a tech when they were all over the place? Let us know in the comments section and let us know what you think about them. Worth remembering or worth forgetting? And please, don't forget to tap the subscribe icon on the right would really help me out a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.